These are the four terms that are used to describe a patient in regards to the presence of a condition or disease and the result of a medical test. When the disease is present and the test is positive, the case is considered a true positive. And when the disease is absent and the test is negative, the case is considered a true negative. When the disease is present and the test is negative, the case is considered a false negative. And when the disease is absent and the test is positive, the case is considered a false positive. The location of each term in the 2x2 sample table is based on the combination of disease presence and test result. In the top row, we have the positive tests, and in the bottom row, we have the negative tests. In the left column, we have the people with the condition, and in the right column, the people without it. A true negative refers to a person who does not have the condition, and tests negative for it. For example, if a man was to take a pregnancy test, it would result in a true negative. A false positive refers to a person who does not have the condition, yet tests positive for it. For example, if a woman had antiphospholipid syndrome, she might test positive for syphilis, even if she doesn't have it. This false positive test for syphilis can also occur in otherwise healthy young women. A true positive refers to a person who has the condition and tested positive for it. This one is pretty self-explanatory. Essentially, a person has some sort of condition or disease and it's correctly identified by the test. A false negative refers to a person who has the condition but tests negative for it. So for example, let's say a middle-aged man with sacroiliitis receives a lumbar x-ray for back pain but no abnormalities are detected. In this case, inflammation of the sacroiliac joints is present, but it's not apparent on the radiograph, and thus the test is a false negative. So once more, both the true positives and false negatives have the condition. But with the true positives, the condition is correctly identified, and with the false negatives, the condition is incorrectly excluded. But with the false positives and true negatives do not have the condition, but with the true negatives, the condition is correctly excluded, whereas with the false positives, the condition is incorrectly identified.